Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Geometry Common Core Regents. So we're doing this one question at a time. Here is question 23. In the diagram below of right triangle ABC, altitude BD is drawn. Which ratio is, is always equivalent to cosine of A? So let's first look at our triangle here. So we have triangle ABC. So I'm just going to draw it separately over here. ABC. And then we want to know the ratio what's equivalent to cosine of A. So if we remember our Soka Toa, we see that cosine is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. So if we're looking at the cosine of A, this angle right here, we want the adjacent. So this is the hypotenuse, right? Because this is the longest side. So right here we have the hypotenuse. And then here is our adjacent over here. And then this is our opposite, which we don't need, but we just want to label all the parts. So cosine of A is the adjacent AB over the hypotenuse AC. So we want to know what's equal to this. So what they're really doing without telling us is that they want to know what's equal to this in another triangle. So even though we have this giant, this triangle ABC, there's other triangles within this that are similar to each other. So, so we need to find that. So we need to find the similar, tri the other similar triangle here to compare this to, and then we can go from there. So, we we have this right triangle ABC. So we know that this is a right angle, and then since an altitude is drawn, this is also going to be a right angle. So that means we could be looking at triangle ABD or triangle DBC. Um, notice that they, these two triangles, these, these potential triangles, also share an angle. So if we're looking at triangle BDC, we can look at, we could say triangle ABC, that's the big triangle we have, is similar to triangle BDC by angle angle. So that's just one method of proving two triangles similar is if they have two congruent angles. So if we if you notice triangle BDC looks like this BDC it has that right angle down here that is an angle B up here. So we have those are congruent and then they both share an angle C. Right, because that's just within both triangles. So we know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC. So now we need to find how to find the equivalent ratio of cosine of A in this new triangle. So it's if we know that they are similar, that means all the angles are congruent in this similar triangle, these two similar triangles. So we have angle C uh, corresponds to angle C, that makes sense. Angle D is that 90 degree angle corresponds to angle B, that 90 degree angle. And then notice we have an angle A over here, which is, and we have an angle B over here, which is the, like the last remaining angle. So actually angle A in this triangle is gonna correspond to angle B in this triangle. So this is kind of like our old angle A in the other triangle. So what this is gonna allow us to do now that we know this is that we can look at Sokotoa again and um, now identify cosine of, of B, really. So this time we're going to find a cosine of B, which is the corresponding angle to cosine of A. So cosine of B, remember, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we're looking at this angle, so let's just label all our sides and what they mean. So this is the hypotenuse, it's the longest side. Over here we have the adjacent, and then down here is the opposite even though we don't, we're not going to be needing that in this problem. So we have the cosine of B adjacent, which is line BD, line segment BD, all over the hypotenuse BC. And that's our answer. So, so this is our answer, and we just need to find it now in our choices. So we see that it's choice two. That's our answer. And if you want to see more on similar triangles, I have a video on that. So please check that out. Now for question 24. In the diagram below of triangle RST, L is a point on RS 
and M is a point on RT, such that LM is parallel to ST. So LM, this line right here, is parallel to ST. If RL, so we're just filling in um, every, all the information they're giving us. We mark that these two lines are parallel, and now they're gonna give us some values. So we have RL is equal to two, LS is equal to six, LM along here is equal to four, and then ST is equal to X plus two. What is the length of ST? So we wanna find the value of this entire length here. So, so this again looks like a similar triangle problem. Uh, so let's draw out our, our smaller triangle and our bigger triangle, the two triangles we're working with. So we have the smaller one, which is R, M, L, which I get just by looking at this little piece right here, kind of cutting this piece off. And we have this line segment is four and this line segment is two. And then we have the bigger triangle, which is R, T, S, and here we have x plus 2, and here we have um, this whole length here is 6 plus 2, which is going to give us 8. So this is equal to 8. So how do I know these are similar to each other? Again, they share, share angles with each other. So first we know that they share this angle r here, right? And then an interesting thing about this is that we know that these two are parallel and then they're kind of cut by a transversal, right? So that, that actually gives us uh, alternate interior angles. So we know that this is going to be equal angle um, RML is going to be equal to angle RTS. So that's, so, so these two angles are going to correspond to each other. And the same could be said for the uh, remaining angles, angle L and angle S, we just mark that with this. So, so we know those are congruent to each other. So if we have congruent angles like this, that means these two triangles are similar. So we could say, uh, we could say triangle MRL is similar to triangle TRS. So when that happens, we know the angles are congruent and we also know the sides are in proportion to each other when two triangles are similar. So if we know two triangles are similar to each other, we can create a proportion. So let's do that. So this side ML, is going to correspond to this side, TS. So I'm just writing this out the, the long way. Um, so we could see what each side is corresponding to. So ML to TS is going to be equal to RL over RS. That's an L. And now we're just going to fill in the values of these. So ML is 4, TS is X plus 2. And then this is equal to RL, which is 2, over RS, which is 8. And then we could just cross multiply and solve for X. So when we do that, we're going to get 2 times X plus 2 is equal to 32. We can distribute this 2. And when we do that, we, we get 2X plus 4 is equal to 32. Subtract 4 from both sides, and we get 28 divide by 2 and we get x is equal to 14. So we have this value 14 right here but that's not gonna our answer right because remember when we go back and look what the question is asking they want to know what is the length of st so the length of st is not 14 that's the value of x so we, we just need to go back and plug 14 into x and then we'll get our the length we want which is 16 choice 4 and that's our answer and again i have a more detailed video on similar triangles so please check that out need more practice check out mathsucks.org for more questions link below also don't forget to subscribe happy calculating